Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested.com and we've been shooting a lot more builds of late with Adam at the cave, a lot of one day builds and those take a long time, a full day. And one of the ways we like to document those builds is with time-lapse, time-lapse video and time-lapse photography. Uh, some of the video cameras that we use actually have time-lapse modes built in. Just set the interval you want to record at and it will automatically work and that's no problem. But if you want to do time-lapse with a DSLR, you need what's called an intervalometer, something that can trigger the shutter of the DSLR at certain interval certain times and so I have a device here called the trigger trap um, which is actually it's an old one the trigger trap t1 and they have a newer version but it simply connects to my Canon DSLR using this analog port and then plugs into my phone and then I can run an app that lets me uh, trigger the shutter with a touch of a button. I can do things like have it tr uh, activate based on a time release, self timers, or at set intervals. That's great if I want to capture a long day's build and only capture one frame every 10 to 15 seconds and then do some post processing and stitch it together to do a time lapse video. But if I want some motion in the time-lapse video, I'm going to need more than just something to activate the shutter. I'm going to need a stepper motor. And so this device I've been testing is called the Radian, Radian 2, actually. It's made by Alpine Labs, and I own the first Radian. I really loved it. You mount this on top of a tripod, and then you mount any camera on top of that, whether it's a DSLR or even a compact point-and-shoot. And then you plug that in, and then what the Radian 2 does is actually tethers to your phone. The new one also connects uh, via an app with Bluetooth. It's wireless. So I set up my interval, I set up how long the time lapse is going to be, how many degrees I want the camera to shift at every, uh, every shot, and then program it in. You can do speed ramping, you can do bulb ramping, and with the Radian 2, it actually activates a shutter on my DSLR over USB, and it uses one of the rarest USB cables I've ever seen. It's the micro to mini USB cable. And if you rarely see that, you usually see micro to the full size or mini to the full size. This one plugs into the Radian with micro, which is the same port it uses to charge, and then into the camera over mini. Now, it depends what camera you have and what system you have. Um, on Canon cameras, the 6D and newer, the 5Ds, 70Ds, those all have USB ports that you can use. Um, but on Nikons, it'll be separate. Uh, and if you don't have a camera that has a USB port, you can always use your analog port and activate it that way. Now with the Radian 2, you can also uh, preview the images you've shot over Bluetooth. It'll send them over a thumbnail to the phone. It's a little slow, but it still works. But you don't have to touch the camera at all. You can change your aperture, your ISO, your exposure settings directly from the app. And then you can get a smooth pan over time. You can ramp up in speed, slow down. And then if you get two of these Radians, you can actually mount them together with a bracket so you get two axes of movement, kind of go up into the sky. Um, um, so I've been having fun testing this and using this to document things like builds. Uh, we actually used it last year uh, at the Phil Tibbet studio to capture the stop motion animation, um, animating process for Star Wars. So we have some examples of that and we'll be continuing to use this in the future. But the Radian 2 is probably my favorite tool for capturing a moving time lapse. Uh, we'll have more gear tested on the site on our YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to in the link below, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.